When you unpack your Abex, you will find only four major pieces along with the appropriate hardware. It's really very easy to assemble. Start with the Abex bar that has the neck pad already attached in the center of the bar. Insert each end into the open tubing of the Abex roll bar with the two foam elbow pads. Fasten with the provided screws. Then attach the Abex roll bar and the Abex hand bar. Insert the tension spring and while holding the two bars together, insert the chrome bolt and fasten with the wing brackets. Do not over tighten. The unique patented adjustment bar fits any arm length and allows you to begin exercising from the beginner to the advanced levels. And it folds down for easy storage. The Keys Abex, the ultimate abdominal exerciser. Introducing Keys Abex, the ultimate abdominal exerciser, featuring the exclusive patented adjustment handbar. And now, here's Charles Colassi, trainer of professional sports stars and international athletes from the NBA, NFL, PGA, U.S. Olympic team, and pro tennis tour to head you through the Keys Abex Super 6 workout. Congratulations on your purchase of the Keys Abex, the ultimate abdominal exerciser. You have taken an important step in reaching your fitness goals. A properly conditioned midsection not only provides you with that flat, toned look that we all strive for, but can help prevent serious back pain and injuries. Now, we all know that conventional crunches and sit-ups are two of the most effective ways to shape, strengthen, and tone your abdominal muscles. However, because of the incredible strain that doing conventional sit-ups can put on your neck and your lower back, most people don't remain consistent in their exercise program. Now, the Abex, with its soft, comfortable neck pad and exclusive adjustable handbar, provide the necessary support to allow you to gain the full, long-term benefits of your abdominal exercise program. Now, an important factor to think about with your overall program is the frequency, the intensity, and the duration. Initially, I recommend that you use your Abex two to three days per week at a moderate degree of intensity until you get used to it. Now, with regard to intensity, always execute your workouts at your own pace and comfort level. You never want to exercise to the point of strain or discomfort. The best way to gauge your intensity is to use what I call the talk test. Try to speak a sentence or two without running out of breath. That'll usually indicate that you're working at the correct level. Now, in terms of duration, we recommend that you start with the basic program that we're going to demonstrate here in this video. You can also refer to the basic exercise guide that's included with the product. Now with this safe approach, you will quickly be able to determine your fitness and starting level. Now I'm going to demonstrate the Keys Abex Super 6 exercises. This series of abdominal exercises will work together to tone, to firm, and strengthen your abs, while at the same time trimming your waist. Okay, now are you ready? Because with the help of Liz, we're going to get started. Now, before beginning your workout, you want to take five to 10 minutes of basic aerobic exercise, a brisk walk or jog, just something to get your blood flowing before you exercise. Now, after your warm up and before your Abex workout, let's do a nice long abdominal stretch. We'll start with both arms extended over your head and both feet extended straight out from your hips. I'd like you to take a nice long stretch right through the tips of your fingers and right out the tips of your toes as you breathe rhythmically. We'll do this on a four count. So we'll breathe in and stretch. Two, three, four, and relax. Two, three, four, and stretch. Two, you want to do this between eight to 12 times. You'll really feel that long stretch in your abdomen. Now another stretch that we're going to do, which is a great way to warm up the lower abdomen the buttocks and the deep abdominal muscles that stabilize the spine is the pelvic tilt. We'll begin in the basic abex position, except that we'll have your hands down at the side of your hips. What I'd like you to do is to imagine an access right through your lower back hip area. I want you to squeeze your buttocks together and lift your tailbone just an inch or two off the floor. We'll do this one at a two count. So we'll go squeeze up, two, and then down, two. And squeeze up, two, and down, two. Now this one, because it involves smaller muscles and it's a little smaller movement, you can repeat this 12 to 20 repetitions. 
In addition to a good stretch, it also helps strengthen those deep abdominal muscles. And down, two, that's great. The first of the Keys Ab X Super 6 exercises is the ab crunch. This exercise develops and strengthens the upper abdominal area. Now remember, one of the great things about the Keys Ab X is that you can adjust the handbar for maximum comfort and effectiveness. You begin in the basic Ab X position with your elbows against the soft pads and your hands wrapped comfortably, not firmly, around the handbar. Remember to keep your chin up and rest your head comfortably on the soft pad. For the exercise, what you do is you simply contract the upper abdominal muscles until the shoulder blades are lifted an inch or two off the mat. Concentrate on raising the shoulders up with the upper abdominal muscles, not your hands, and press your lower back flat into the mat. Now we'll begin with a two count up and a two count down, and a two count up and a two count down. Now as you progress over time, and I mean weeks, months, you then build up to a four count up, up two, three, four, and four down, and then ultimately you get four counts up, four count hold, and a four count down. Now remember, you should advance your workout level only after your current level feels easy for at least two to three workouts in a row. Now the ab crunch with consistent exercise will tone, firm, and maintain your upper abdominals. And down, two, three. The second of the keys, ab X super six, is the lower ab crunch. This strengthens the lower portion of the abdominal area. Begin with your neck comfortably resting on the soft ab X pad. Now I want you to rest your hands on the mat next to your hips. Keeping your knees bent, I want you to lift the heels off the mat and perform the same pelvic tilt that we showed you earlier. I want you to slowly lift the tailbone about one or two inches off the mat and lower it down. Again, once you feel comfortable and controlled with the two count up and two count down, then progress to the four count series that we explained earlier. Now a more advanced variation of this exercise is to place your hands on the handbar. Don't squeeze it. This requires the lower abdominal area to perform the work without the assistance of the shoulders and upper back. Now the lower abdominals are target toned with this excellent exercise. Let's go up two and down, two, that's great. The third of the keys, ab X super six, is the upper and lower ab combination crunch. Begin in the basic lower ab crunch position, but this time I want you to contract the upper abdominals while at the same time as you're lifting the hips off the mat. This combination crunch is an incredible exercise for the upper and lower abdominals. Up, two and down. Two, really squeeze that upper abdomen down. Two, and lift and squeeze at the same time. Two, and up, rest your head comfortably and softly on the soft pad. Two, nice lifted chin. That is excellent technique, Liz, fantastic. The fourth of the keys, ab X super six, is the alternate knee raise. You begin in the basic ab X position, lift the heels off the mat, extend one leg straight, and then alternate your legs in a bicycle-like motion. Keep your lower back pressed into the mat and rest your head on the pad. Now a variation of this exercise is to add the upper abdominal crunch. We'll do it on a four count. And one, two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four. Keep your lower back pressed into the mat. Four and down. Two, three, four. Really get your knees up. Two, three, four, and down. The fifth of the keys, ab X super six, is the oblique crunch. I want you to begin in the basic ab X position and carefully lower your knees to one side of your body. Contract your abdomen until the shoulder blades are lifted just a few inches off the mat with your head resting gently on the pad. Now the obliques, or love handles as we like to call them, are somewhat difficult to tone. However, with the Keys Abex, this oblique crunch does an incredible job of isolating and firming your obliques. Down, two, and up. Two, and down. Two, really squeeze, two, and down. Two, and squeeze, two, last one. Two, and squeeze them, two, and down, rest. 
When you're finished with one side, lift your knees and again, carefully lower your knees to the other side of the mat and begin the exercise series again. Two and down, two and up, two and down, two. The final exercise of the Keys Abex Super 6 is a sideline oblique crunch. Begin with the side of your head resting comfortably on the pad. You'll be lying on the side of your body and I want you to bend both of your knees towards your chest until your thighs are at a right angle to your torso. And then we'll contract, two and down, two and squeeze, two and down, two and squeeze, three and down, two and squeeze, four and down, two, squeeze, five, down, two, last one, squeeze and down, two. When you're finished with one side, I want you to roll to the other side, gently roll your knees to the mat, and repeat the series of exercises. We are gonna show you three advanced ab -X exercises. The first one is the upper and lower ab combination crunch, which we've demonstrated earlier in this video, except now we are adding ankle weights. You place the ankle weights around the ankles prior to performing the exercise. And Squeeze your abdominals to and down. Two. Squeeze your abs to and down. Two. Head resting gently on the soft pad. And up. Two and down. Two. The second advanced exercise is the side leg raise with ankle weights. Begin in the side lying oblique position. I want you to bend the bottom knee at a little less than a right angle to your hip and extend the top leg with the toe in a neutral position pointing straight forward. Slowly raise the leg. Be sure not to point the toe toward the ceiling. You'll raise the leg up, two and down, two. Be sure that the motion is coming from the hip and not from the waist. When you finish the set on one side, switch and repeat on the other side. Down, two, up, two and down, two. The third and final advanced exercise is the inner thigh toner. For added resistance, we again have added ankle weights. I want you to begin in the side lying oblique position with your hand placed in the center of the bar and your head gently resting on the pad. I want you to bend the top leg so that the knee is pointing toward the ceiling and the foot is placed on the mat. You'll extend and lift the bottom leg as you raise it toward the ceiling. Keep the hips forward throughout the full range of movement and avoid pointing the toe upward to the ceiling. Up, two, down, two. Extend right through your heel and down. Two, extend, up and down, two. When you finish the set on one side, switch and repeat with the other leg. Two and down, two. Nice job, two more, down, two. Up, two, right through the heel is, and up, two. Great job. Great workout, Liz. Using the Keys Abex, the ultimate abdominal exerciser, as part of your overall conditioning program, as outlined in the Abex exercise guide, you can tone and firm your abs while you trim your waist. The key to any successful exercise program is to stick with it. You'll look better and you'll feel better. <laughs>